Naked Sports 3-Way Aprilia Shiver 900 vs Kawasaki Z900 vs Suzuki GSX S750 We here at Motorcycle.com are a bit spoiled. You see, stepping up to the top shelf of a manufacturer's lineup for us is as simple as asking for it, no credit check required, so it's easy for us to love pricey KTM Super Dukes and MV Augusta Brutals. However, there are much more affordable ways to get into the naked sport bike market, and here's a trio of fun, fast and cool ways to do it for around 8 or 9 grand. Truly, this collection of roadsters, Suzuki's GSX S750, Kawasaki's Z900, and Aprilia's new Shiver 900, has all the performance most anyone needs to frolic in the canyons, let alone stay ahead of traffic and agreeable ergonomics enable versatility for everything from commuting to touring. While this threesome isn't a perfect fit in terms of specifications, they are priced in the same range and offer similar sporty performance. Yamaha FC09 First Ride Review Cost Suzuki's GSX S750 is the cheapest way to get 100 rear wheel horsepower, with an MSRP of just $8,299 for the base version we tested. Anti-lock brakes are available only on the blacked out GSX S750Z, which retails at $8,899, $100 more than the ABS equipped Z900 in this test. Aprilia's Shiver 900 adds Italian flair and an elevated price, retailing at $9,399 with its standard ABS. Style Like any vehicular purchase, a consumer's decision to buy a motorbike depends largely on how it strikes their eyes. We think this trio nicely pulls off charming profiles despite their sub-dollar 10k price tags, but how each is alluring depends largely on the tastes of the beholder. Suzuki's Jitsus appeals best to those with more traditional tastes, displaying clean lines and subtle accents within a vivid blue primary color. At the opposite end of conservatism is the polarizing Z900, with a fresher visage that probably speaks loudest to younger riders. Naked sport bikes like these are a more rational choice for a street sport bike than the committed riding positions of super sport style sport bikes, requiring much less folding of a rider's body parts. Of this trio, the, the Shiver offers up the least demanding position, with a generous amount of legroom from its comfy 32.0 inch seat height and a moderate reach to the handlebars. The Jesus isn't far behind, with a slightly tighter knee bend forced by higher foot pegs but a nicely plush saddle. Taking the runner-up spot here is the overachieving GSX S750, which delighted us with its fun-to-ride nature and its overall competency in doing everything we asked of it. The Suzuki is a great platform for a newer rider looking to get into sportier riding without sacrificing comfort or around town maneuverability, Jaswinski states. It's remarkable the Jesus rated so highly, given its significant deficit in engine size. And that leaves us with the winner of this shootout, Kawasaki's alluring and value-packed Z900. It's a stunning performance bargain especially considering the non-ABS version retails for just $8,399, and it's further validation for choosing it as the best standard of 2017 in our annual MOBO awards.